Well, right now you can see that they are trying to strengthen this border even more. There is uh, a crane here. They are putting barbed razor wire across the top. There are some migrants, some would-be asylum seekers, on the other side of this fence. I don't know if you can make them out because it's quite bright, but there are several here. And this is the caravan that we've been talking about, we've been hearing about in the news for several weeks. Now, there are three groups here to really mention. First of all, you've got the main caravan. This is the one that's been getting all of the media attention. Originally thought to be around 7,000 strong, now thought to be nearer to around 3,000 uh, and about uh, 1,000 miles away at the moment. That group is still on its way, but don't forget there's all these, what you might call splinter groups. Yesterday we had 80 LGBT uh, would-be asylum seekers turning up at the border. We're told they were given help by non-governmental organizations, by pressure groups uh, to get rides, to get bus tickets, to get them nearer to the border. Also, uh, another 250 arrived later in the day. We're told also, I mean, we, we actually saw pictures of them climbing up onto the border. Some of them got to the top. A few of them actually got over to the border. Their feet were planted onto U.S. soil. And here's what a few of them had to say. We're waiting for everyone in the caravan to come. And we're going to see what solution there is now that we're right at the border of the U.S. And some are coming with the idea that some family members will cross the border with coyotes. Others will request asylum. For now, we're waiting to see what solutions there might be after a while, to see if there's a possibility to enter or not. Because if there's no possibility to enter, and if we're going to run a lot of risk, then we're going to wait a while here in Tijuana. We are told that the migrant camps on the other side of the border over there in Tijuana are absolutely packed. At the moment, there are weeks and weeks of waiting for asylum uh, hearings. So we're told that the groups that arrived yesterday may not be heard until the end of the year. Then, of course, you've got these extra thousands, reportedly, according to the AFP news agency, one and a half thousand arriving today. So lots of people heading this way, the police, the army and the government keeping a very watchful eye. Who knows what's going to happen next?